It's a good day, gamers. Remember yesterday when I was talking about the, uh, the, the storm being a big nothing burger? Um, it turns out at around 3 p.m. it kind of popped off. Snow, not that bad. Ice, really bad. <laughs> I, I went upstairs. Normally, I leave to pick my daughter up from daycare at 4. Um, I went upstairs at 3.50. I was like, let's just see what the weather's like, just in case I need to leave early. Went upstairs, looked outside, and said I should have left like 20 minutes ago. My six-minute drive to daycare took like 30 minutes. People were slipping and sliding like crazy out there. We made it on time, just barely. Made it back, and I decided, let's not run that errand this morning, because the entire city is covered in black ice. It was like... Five degrees on uh, Celsius, five degrees Saturday, or uh, five degrees Celsius on Wednesday. And then by midday Thursday, it was um, like minus eight. It became ice immediately. And today is freaking minus 14 Celsius, bro. Not that cold if you live on Mars, but like fairly close to the lowest recorded temperatures in Vancouver. We, I think I, I Googled it this morning when I got out of the shower. It was like, what's the cold? This, is, this has to be the coldest day it's ever been in Vancouver. And then it was like, no, that's like 18, negative 18. Minus 14 here might be like the coldest day since I've lived here at least. Shoveled the, the walk, shoveled the sidewalk, even shoveled out like the entrance to the alley so all of my neighbors could uh, get home from work. Felt like a good citizen. Resalted. You're absolutely right. I think it's been long enough. The number two pencil should be called the number one pencil now. It won. We don't use number one pencils anymore. That's like, why are we still calling it Preparation H? Preparations A through G did not get the job done. Maybe like Preparation E now has like a, a coincidental use as like a, a numbing agent during anal bleaching, but it's, it's not doing anything for your hemorrhoids, boy. Boy, <laughs> turn my ass into Kratos for a second. You know what it is? I also, I went to bed last night. I set my alarms. I've been kind of, I've been angling for a rest day on the bike for maybe like two days. Legs have been hurting. I said, I'm probably going to ride tomorrow. So I'm going to set the alarm for 5.30 a.m. Woke up at 5.30 a.m. and said, nah, this is the one. This is the morning. Then I slept until 7.30. It was like a nine and a half hour sleep. Parents will tell you, you can amortize out the sleep surplus from a nine and a half hour sleep and be relatively well rested for like 10 days off of that. That being said, I think my, because I didn't ride this morning, <clears throat> I haven't uh, metabolized my caffeine appropriately. Like I think because I normally drink caffeine and then I ride the bike, my body processes it like super fast. I'm feeling like... I have one cup of cold brew. I'm feeling like a little, a little jittery still. And that was like two hours ago. My body's like, what the fuck, bro? Resting heart rate is like, hang on. Let's, this, this is genuinely how I, I test my resting heart rate. I go to online heart rate calculator in a Google search. It's onlineheartrate.com. And then I, I take my pulse with one hand and hit the space bar with the other. Age 34. Yes, that's correct. Okay, ready? Well, now because I've been talking so much, it's a little higher. I don't want to embarrass myself. Take a deep breath. World's smartest engineers in the Twitch chat be like, I just take my pulse for one second and then multiply it by 60. <laughs> Resting heart rate 54. Typically, when the stream starts, I'm legitimately at like 87. <laughs> I'm still, my, my body's still waking up, bro. 52 reporting in. It's because I had two beers last weekend. Your liver processes it in one hour per drink, but your, your cardiovascular system takes like a month and a half. Mine's 120. Am I dying? Um, well, let me follow up. Are, uh, are you a hummingbird? Yes. Oh, what the year? Honestly, you might need to get those numbers up a little bit. 120 resting is tachycardia levels. 
Sorry, I, I went Harry Potter mode for a second. Uh, brachycardia motherfuckers when they see a tachycardia motherfucker. I took my glasses off to clean them. I can't see all the plus twos. I am assuming there's a lot. <clears throat> you know what I was thinking this morning? It's, in a way, we're, we're cursed but also blessed to be living through this weird era of social media. Uh, when I was a, a kid, like a teenager, only other teenagers and uh, like the weirdest 30-year-olds you've ever met were on social media. If you went someplace to talk about video games, it was like a bunch of other 10th graders and then like one dude who's like, I just got discharged from the Marines. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what life is like. That I had to kill so many people. They're like LARPing being John Wick. I had to look them in the whites of their eyes and take the life from them. And then it was like, you know... I feel like millennials, Gen X, and boomers got on while Gen Z was still, you know, in like elementary school. But now we have like five generations of people on social media and they all have like their own unique brand of posting. It's very interesting. And then like the people that are over the age of 70, it's like all of their posts are like beautiful morning today and it's a picture of like the flowers on their windowsill. And then the boomers are like obviously faked skit that happened in a Target. I can't believe this is real. And then millennials are like 375 character long joke to get to the worst punchline you've ever heard. Gen X is like nobody remembers us. I broke my arm on the playground as a kid. And then all the Gen Z posts are like normalize fucking hating your geometry teachers. Like we really, you normally don't get access to this much of a, uh, a symbolic cross-section of society. Like, I think this is unique w throughout human history. Can I also tell you something? I don't have anything... Uh, th these are just, like, random anecdotes that don't connect. Uh, yesterday or two days ago, we had someone that came into chat, and they kept posting the same thing. DL Guiga, this joke is basically, like, it's tailor-made for you. They posted the same thing 20 times, in all caps. They said, would you want to do a PS5 giveaway with a Canadian cannabis brand? They posted it 12 times in two minutes and then got banned. So the mods looked at the on-ban request and they brought up their chat history. They had not, prior to that, they had not chatted for two years. December 6th, 2021 was their last post where they had spammed five times in five minutes. Would you accept cannabis soda samples and a swag bag from a Canadian company smiley face? Do you know what that means? We're no longer at risk of a recession. They were posting at the peak of the bubble. They went away for two years when rates skyrocketed. Them being back is actually the most bullish sign I could possibly imagine. They hibernated, they weathered the storm, and now they're back giving out PS5s with the Canadian cannabis brand. The world is healing. Do you drink Josh? Hey, I, I made my uh, stream title today, drinking and drinking on my red Josh, and then everybody told me that it was cringe. So I changed it to, there must be some Toros in the atmosphere because it's cold out here. I still don't get it. <clears throat> Josh is popping off. It's a, it's a vintage of wine that's funny because it's called Josh, and Josh is like a very normie name, at least if you're my age. Rubbing and rubbing on my yellow leg is the just making sure I don't fit in meme. Deep fried and, and flipped. This is what, and Prezzo, I, I admire your courage, right? Because being early on the meme is almost as bad as being late. Like if you're early on the meme, people are like, this isn't funny. If you're late on the meme, people are like, this isn't funny anymore. But some people have to be early on the meme in order to get the meme to the point where the normies start to appreciate it. It takes a lot of, I mean, you're putting your nuts on the table to be out there and saying, drinking and drinking on my red Josh. We got to do band, bandle. Bandle bomb, bandle bomb. 26 million views released in 1981. You can get by with the old man's money. That's not rich girl. <laughs> There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? I get it. Oh, uh, 
I should know this. Oh, Larif takes the package from the American man. Nanip takes the package into the free trade zone. I, I need, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be listening wind by the talking heads, but let's go, uh, let's go on to number two. Oh, this is Jump by Van Halen. Yeah. Uh, no! I, thought, I was waiting for the... Dee, dee, dee. That's, that's Guns N' Roses again. I can't do the notes. Three, two, one, go. My baby takes the morning train. He works from nine to five again, and then he takes it home again to find me waiting for him. I don't think it's that. Oh, it's uh, Chariots of Fire. The song they play in uh, every TV show when people race, which is referencing the movie, I suppose. You should have had that in two. Yeah, sorry, I listen to real music, not movie and video game soundtracks. Only thing I'm ever going to get on drums is... Uh, that's Mambo number five. Possibly the most cooked electronic drum sample of all time. That's the 1988 Calgary Olympics theme song. Real original Calgary. You couldn't have rocked like a Canadian classic for that one. You couldn't have taken... Might as well go for a soda, nobody hurts, and nobody cries. That's like the most Calgary song I could think of. Or like, um, Mama, let him play, let him play, let him play that rock and roll. Some bare naked ladies would have been dope. They were still chilling, I think, back in 88. They asked Colin James and he said no. But you're telling me we could have had a 1988 Olympics theme like, I just came back to say goodbye. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we got to get started. This is too Canadian to start with. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really tough. How can something be normal and fighting? Oh, if it's from, insert country here. <laughs> if, it, if it's from uh, north of Princess. Am I right, fellow Queen students? <laughs> Okay, let me just let me think about this for a second. Okay, this is tough for me. It's conceivable that I could actually get a, a zero on this. Um, normal can learn Thunderbolt. It must be ditto because it can learn any move. All right, um, that you got to understand. That's pretty good reasoning. It's the kind of reasoning when you like don't study for a final exam. You're like, I think I nailed that from first principles. Then you get it back, and you're like, what the fuck, sixty one. It turns out Ditto can't learn Thunderbolt. The answer was actually something they covered in lecture that you just had to have gone to it to remember. I find it, in Gen 1, there's, there's very few like duo types, right? There might have, there's like just a couple is what I understand. So this would have to be after that, in which case I would say it's I am Bipom. Oh! <laughs> This one's a real problem. I'm coming by it honestly. I, Galar, I know Galar. Galar is the British Pokemon. So maybe Galarian coughing. What? Galar Weezing? Galarian edition? Weezing Galar. Hang on. Galar? Galar Pikachu. Galar Electa Buzz. Elekid. What about Rigieleki? Electric. I guess these would be electric type Pokemons now that I think about it. Um, that dude is just a key. What are we talking about here? Clef key? He's a key. It's ridiculous. Deli bird? Yeah, can I get 300 grams of sliced poop, please? Celestila? Musical guest. Inteleon G-Max. Featuring Tapu Lele. Galar wheezing. Yes. 
Yes. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a boon for expecting which Pokemon would have access to electric-type moves. Can I say something, by the way, as we go to the Machops here? Machop, normal dude. Machamp, steroid user. Machoke is actually the optimal aspirational build for a strength training man. It doesn't require unrealistic... Uh, body expectations like growing an extra pair of arms or like uh, hard taco shells out of your head. It's just a very, I mean, he's pretty vascular. He might be on NO Explode, but let chonk, let epic chonk, zest the sour boy, Copperaja G Max. I don't know. Normal fighting is um, that one, um, not, not, is Snubble what I'm, I'm thinking of Hariyama. Hariyama. Okay, Snubble. No, no, Snubble, I know this one, actually. This is a fairy fighting type, right? I got two more guesses. Normal Thunderbolt. Mr. Mime, maybe? Mr. Mine, as I call him? <laughs> maybe this, is, this sounds crazy. Aerodactyl? All right. I'll live with that. I mean, I did, I did the best that I felt like I could have. Gengar can learn Thunderbolt. Okay, that's just one you got to know. I'll, that's fair enough. Beware! I actually could have gotten this one because there was a Beware community day when I actually was still playing Pokemon Go. All of these other ones, I basically had no shot. I mean, I know Go Lurk, but like... Ghost Ground, that's, that's a tough overlap, man. All these other ones, I'm, like, I'm not really that familiar with. Coscoddle. Oh, dude, now we're talking. I think something happens. They stopped selling this in Canada. A few years ago, Pirate's Booty made like a big blitz in the Canada. It was in every store and it was on sale in every store. I got addicted to it. Then it stopped being subsidized by venture capital and went up to what its actual like production cost was. And I said, no shot. I'm not buying that shit anymore. I'll just eat apples. Pirate's Booty is, is tasty, though. It's really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a heuristic here. I'm going to say that the price per bag on this is going to be 40 cents American. And that would put this at $15.99. I'm going to say it's $13.99. $13.99. This is crazy. It is $10.49. That is insanity. What is that, like 30 cents a bag? It's less, it's like 26 cents a bag. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Did Costco make this game? Because it always makes me want to go to Costco. They're small bags? Bro, it's a small price. 26 cents a bag? 26 cents a bag? <laughs> popcorn is free? This is not popcorn. This is puffed corn, okay? I looked this up on my website earlier today. It was $15.99. What? So you're saying I was right twice. I'm taking two for the price of one there. Call that the Costco special. No, Pirate's Booty is better than pre-bagged popcorn. It might not be better than movie popcorn, but it's definitely better than like skinny pop. That one's not even... I mean, you're debasing yourself by even drawing a comparison between the two. It has the white cheddar flavoring on top of it. Is it better than smart food? I think it's better than smart food because it tastes about the same. Um, but... Pirate's booty doesn't leave uh, kernels in your teeth and it doesn't leave like a coating of white powder on your fingers. Sorry, it doesn't taste the same. I mean, they, they, in my opinion, they both taste equally good. They don't taste the same as each other, though. May 12th, 2017. Second weekend, 2017, at the box office. 2017... Genre is Marvel, because this is made by Disney. 2017, huh? So Infinity War was like 18. 
what was just pre-Infinity War? Maybe Guardians of the Galaxy 2? <laughs> first principles! First principles! Mess with me, mess with my mother. And Goldie Hawn. I, I'm just going to be honest, I simply don't know it. When her boyfriend dumps Emily, a spontaneous woman in her 30s, she pursue, persuades her ultra-cautious mom to accompany her on a vacation to Ecuador. When these two very different women are trapped on this wild journey, their bond as mother and daughter is tested and strengthened while they attempt to navigate the jungle and escape. Snatched. Everything about this movie makes me want to go off on a rant. The poster, the color of the font, the font itself... The cast, the title, the premise. <laughs> Cost $42 million to make. Mystery element to it. Um, real quick, uh, no, no spoilers in chat. What's the name of that game? The detective game that Mouth and I have played? It was like three words. Shadows of Doubt, thank you. Shadows of... Rip. It's recent. I don't know what this could be, to be honest with you. It's Dangan Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Give me a hint. It is a role-playing hack-and-slash adventure uh, mystery game. <laughs> Role playing, hack em slash, beat em up. It's Genshin. It's Honkai Star Rail. It's Genshin Impact. I'm going to say this is Mom's Revenge. I'm going to say this is Bilbo's um, house. Oh, Gotham Knights. <laughs> I completely forgot that this game existed. Gotham Knights? Everyone did? You did the Grease song to this? Oh, did I? And oh, those Gotham Knights, tell me more. Okay, that makes sense. I could, I could see my, I could reconstruct the bit, even though I don't remember it. Are you going to play Gotham Knights? Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, whoop. Tell me more, tell me more. Are you in Arkham yet? Tell me more, tell me more. Is the Riddler a threat? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And oh, those Gotham Knights. You know what I'm, that's, that's, what if Batman, <clears throat> me in the Saturday Night Live writer's room? What if Grease was about uh, Batman? By the way, I saw, like everybody else, I saw those leaked screenshots from the Suicide Squad game, and I share your um, cynicism. I'm glad that society is finally starting to get the right opinion, which is that video games, especially, especially AAA video games, have too many stats and too much shit on the screen these days. Dark Souls, I, I know this is like a normie take now, Dark Souls is perfect. There's like one, there's two stats that matter. Damage and weight, okay? Everything else, they got other stats, not necessary. The only thing that matters is can you dodge and can you attack? That's it. You don't need the weight of this does, uh, is this, and then it does this much damage against green enemies, this much damage against yellow enemies, this much damage against armored enemies, this much damage against psionic enemies, and also it has this much lightning damage, this much poison, this much psionic, this much cold. It's, it's just... And then you got to get the shards. The shards, you can convert the shards into gears. The gears, you take them to the engineer. They make your blacksmith level up so he uses less shards to imbue your weapon with extra defense, and it's just like... It's just too much, man. That's more like Lies of P. Yeah, but the gameplay of Lies of P is fire. It, I mean, I'll have you know it made Co Carnage's list of the top 10 games of 2023. What was last year again? 2023? Six words. An R-rated musical comedy from 1982. Semi-well liked by the audience, not that well liked by the critics. A funny... 
thing happened on the way to the forum. The producers have transformed a gentle, well-meaning, satirical Broadway musical into a parody of itself. It happens one night. These are not six words, but... Director Colin Higgins has to be congratulated for his effectiveness at handling the trickiest of problems in musicals, the moment at which a character bursts into song. Girls, the incredibly true adventure of two girls in love. Um, I don't know it. It has its moments, but this misguided movie musical largely lacks the crowd-pleasing appeal of the stage version. The best little whorehouse in Texas. That makes sense. I don't think I ever would have gotten it. So true, they couldn't name a movie that anymore. They would have called it Um, So That Just Happened at the littlest whorehouse in Texas. <laughs> Never have I been happier to have a flat of Coke Zero in the joint. Dude, by the way, th here's one for you, uh, librarian. Let me, let me hot swap this over real quick. Here's one for, for you, librarian. Not me getting served a perfect tweet uh, by the algorithm yesterday that said, it's crazy that we invented diet sodas that are zero calorie and taste better than regular sodas and yet people still refuse to drink them on principle. And then like everybody replied to that tweet saying, actually aspartame gives you cancer and I don't want cancer. And then like they replied with links of like hundreds of peer reviewed studies that were like actually, uh, that was one paper in 1982 and everything else since then says that there is no conclusive link whatsoever. And then the second part that made it funny for me is I clicked on OP's profile and they follow me. So in a way, I was like, I feel like I inspired this viral tweet by drinking Coke Zeros on stream every day. It's true. Nutritionists are like diet sodas, a miracle nectar. I don't know if that part's true. But then people who got all their scientific information from like their uncle in 1997 are like, actually, it's bad for you. You are a hero. I know. I think it's one of those things where Coke Zero tastes so good that people don't believe that it can't be bad for you. It's the same reason, like, and, and this people aren't ready for this, and maybe time will prove this to be idiotic. I'm not even taking a stand. I feel the same way whenever people are like, hmm, surely we're never going to reap, like, the long-term costs of everybody in society being on this miracle drug Ozempic. And I'm like... I get that you've seen like a lot of movies in your life and maybe in the movies, everybody gets hooked on the, the O and then the pharmaceutical company like tweaks one little chemical and all of a sudden, you, you know, they're an army of zombies or something like that. But this shit is like, I'm not saying some shady stuff doesn't go down, but it is also being like studied by the smartest biochemists on planet Earth. 27 hours a day so just give like i'm not saying that you should just be like yum 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 i'm just saying aspartame in particular it's been studied since like 1902 bro they got if, if they have any chemical on earth figured out it's got to be aspartame i look at you and know it can't be good for you what the fuck post your picture r man 484 864 not even subbed what, eight bucks a month is too expensive for you? Dot Elon Musk dot JPEG slash user rman864. Let me see. Yes! I'm about to tear you down, brother. 932 messages following for 11 years. Previously subbed for one month. Those are rookie numbers. <clears throat> I look at you and know it can't be good for you. It gives you cancer. I look at you and know it can't be good for you. I look at you and know it can't be good for you. Still gives you cancer. It actually does give you cancer. I want to smoke the shit that made Tom Cruise. I want to smoke the shit that made Lance Stroll. Chick-fil-A is better. Cran grape is my favorite type of juice. You just made more money eating fries than I'll make in a year. That's probably not true, but... Compliment accepted. <laughs> I think you should leave references. Well, it's not all bad. I think the thing that's crazy is that people... 
I think it's one of those things, people want Coke Zero to be bad for you so they don't have to deal with the pain of having not been consuming Coke Zero. If we accept that aspartame is not bad for you, then there's no reason for you to have gone 15 years without drinking Coke Zeros. The, the cumulative loss of value there is too much for the modern mind to bear. I just drink water. No, 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 we did this part yesterday. Dude who's addicted to vaping uh, lemon pound cake juice 10 times a day. You ever hear of water? <laughs> that one got me in trouble. Uh, people were adding me in other chats and saying, hey, that vaping bit was kind of fucked up yesterday. <clears throat> That's how I know it's true. If Coke Zero is so good, why don't they make a Coke One? You expect me to be mad about that, but I actually think there's a chance you might be onto something. When you already, when you have a zero calorie soda, imagine how good like one gram of sugar would be in it to add four calories. Holy, or like a sparkling water. Like sparkling water, I like it and I like that it's zero calories, but imagine what one gram of sugar would do when you're coming from zero. If you're going from 20 grams to 21, marginally it probably doesn't improve it that much, but if you go from zero to one, that's a billion percent increase, bro. Holy. Wake the sleeping bear? Yes. I have poked the bear. Me when I insult vapors who, who see me drinking a Coke Zero and tell me to just drink water. It's okay, don't be shy. What's the longest movie you've ever watched on the bike? Men in Black 2? Embarrassing. That shit is like literally 84 minutes long. You wouldn't catch me doing that. What is this? Mimic tooth necklace. 20% increased damage dealt to health. What about Pearl Harbor? Bad movie, but long. Mike, Michael Bay should know his place. He should not be making movies that long. He also should not be making movies about like nuanced historical events. By the way, I, w I went to Letterboxd um, and I saw that many of the people who started following me on Letterboxd have also started watching the same movies as me and then leaving their reviews. One dude watched Patton. He gave it a two-star review and the text just said, more like general yapping. Is this the state of, of movie criticism these days? You know how parasocial you have to be to watch like a two hour and 32 minute long movie just to <laughs> also post your opinion on it? I mean, maybe it's a coincidence, but it came out 54 years ago. So, like, they had their time to have watched it before, okay? I was thinking about it yesterday while I was uh, eating a kiwi. When people landed in, like, a kiwi growing zone, and they saw that stuff growing on trees, it must have been so surprising for them. Like, they must have looked at it and said, like, by golly, what a huge chestnut or something like that. And then they grabbed it off the tree and, like, put it in a nutcracker or something. And the thing just went, and they were like, what, what a, what a turgid nut this is growing down here in new old York. And then they sliced it in half and they were like, it's not a nut at all, by God, some kind of organic cheese and then they scooped it out and ate it and I can only imagine that it like it blew their minds imagine when the lads found avocados I just have to imagine that they didn't know what to think when they found avocados I can hardly blame them honestly like it took me until I was in my mid-20s to really understand what to do with avocados myself put them on toast yeah it didn't exist when I was a kid though I mean toast existed a little wonder bread with some margarine on top of it Holy, hello. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm in the middle of, uh, I'm fighting for my life out here. Wee! Okay, we did, there's a phase two. Hey! It's okay, honey. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Just uh, click on watch again. My wife actually came down here with a with an iPod video. Do you want to be a traitor or a faithful? The only reason I came here is to be a traitor. I'm praying to the traitor gods. Why? I'm best at being 
the person you think's a good guy, but at the end is walking away with all the money. And you're like, how did we let this happen again? And I'm hoping for one more again, Alan. I came out of retirement to play this game. Really? What was it about this game that brought you out of retirement? I'm 40 years old. I'm a dad from the Midwest. A lot of dads play golf, basketball. I don't do that. To get me to sit at the table, the money's the ante, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to play the game and I'm here to hunt. This is what I'm good at. I was bred for this. So you're a natural born killer. Midwestern dad by day, killer by night. That's the goal. That's why I'm here. No, I don't want to see what you got on your back here. You're on, you're on camera. It's too, there's too much chaos here for me. <laughs> Funny? Exciting. He said he came out of retirement to play this game. And then the MC said, so you're a mid, uh, midwestern state dad in the daytime and then <clears throat> killer at nighttime. It's and true. he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to episode one of The Traders tonight. All right, we're gonna run back Tiny Rogues here. What is he doing? You okay, honey? What is he doing? Daddy's working. What? It's true. What? What? That's not true. That's not true? What do you mean? Daddy doesn't look. <laughs> you don't know how right you are. <laughs> there was a time, though when I was able to. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing that for the rest of the day. <laughs> hey, now look at Cine 2 Nerdle's latest cine, uh, Twitter post. Perhaps someone could just tell me the body of text because I've already, I've, I've been derailed enough. January 19th is the last day it's going offline for maintenance. That's good. That's good. That's positive. I support that. Battle is going to be offline until the fall. They got to do what they got to do. The movies will still be there. You know what? That, that gives me a, an off-season to train. Watching five Kino films a week from the 1970s on the Peloton. When we come back in September, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be a different version of myself. Let's put it that way. You know, like when your uh, favorite sports team sucks, but then somebody on your favorite sports team sp starts posting like workout videos and you're like, oh, next year they're going to be crazy. Look, according to the scouts, they put on 10 pounds of muscle over the summer. Then you see them uh, in October and you're like, holy, look at how strong they look. And then you, re you see them on the ice and you realize they're slow as fuck. And you're like, wait a minute, they weren't just doing bench presses, were they? They're supposed to be working out their damn legs, bro. They're, they're 10 pounds heavier. They look uh, lethargic out there. What are we doing? It's Vladdy Jr. every year. <laughs> He's good though, right? He's ripping, he's ripping dingers. I know that. Hey, Anel, you ever spent 24 hours in the drunk tank? No. Um, I haven't. I don't know how drunk you have to be to get... I guess it's not a question of drunkenness. I think it's more about, like, do you cause problems when you're intoxicated? Like, I bet if you were, like, two beers deep and you were being a disturbance, they might throw you in the drunk tank. But if you're, like, 12 beers deep, and you just kind of tripped over the sidewalk, they probably don't even give you a warning if I had to guess. I've never been to jail or prison in any capacity. I have received two tickets in my second year of university. They were on consecutive nights. Both of them, I can't even remember if they were underage drinking or public consumption, like open container violation, but it was, you know, I mean, they're basically six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? I was both underage and had an open container. <laughs> Best way to beat Edward 40 hands? Step one, have a high enough alcohol tolerance that the dose of 240s is high, but not high enough to actually like kill you. 
or it cause you to be so uh, intoxicated that you have an accident that kills you. Uh, oh, done? Okay. Drink the first one really fast. Your goal should be to finish the first one before your body processes the liquid in it, making you have to go to the bathroom. There's only two ways to lose... Well, there's three ways to lose Edward 40 hands. Piss your pants because you didn't drink your first 40 fast enough to be able to unbuckle. Uh, throw up because your tolerance isn't high enough, which is good, honestly, for your physical health. Or C fall down the stairs and try to use your hands to stop yourself and then the bottles shatter on the stairs and you cut the shit out of your body falling on the broken glass. If you can avoid those three things, you're going to be fine. Bottles are plastic nowadays. Even old English has gone woke. They really broke the mold when they invented the aluminum can though. Like what a, what a perfect vessel for liquids to be in. You ever think about how in modern society, like this aluminum had to be pulled out of the fucking earth by like man and machine. And it's so relatively inexpensive that we turn that shit into foil. <laughs> and like wrap just vegetables in it to put them in the oven. Oh, I don't want my vegetable to be exposed to the, the heat of the oven directly. I'm going to line it with metal that had to be pulled out of the, the loam. The, the people in the Stone Age would be losing their damn mind. How smart was the dude who invented the calculator, by the way? Which one? I don't know, like the first one? The, the first Texas Instruments? There's no doubt in my mind that dude was smart, smart. He was probably an idiot because he didn't do it in his head. You know, and uh, many of you are, the, you are the butt of this joke, but you may not acknowledge it. And you can be the butt of a joke and still laugh at it. I do it all the time, mostly when mouth insults me. You know that if the dude who invented the calculator had been streaming on Twitch at the time, people would have been like, why would I need this? I'll, I already learned mathematics at the academy. I'll just do it in my head. Lol. Patricians are getting so lazy these days, they don't even use an abacus. They have to have their little computer do it for them. Strength gives you critical hit multipliers we take. I'm not worried about you. The devil? Nah, I'd win. I'm really walking through the valley of the shadow of death right now, man. I'm taking a look at his life bar and realizing there's nothing left. He's really the mind flamer. <laughs> it's gotta be the one in the Santa hat, right? That's the real one, perhaps ironically. I'm gonna let the lads know that I'm gonna be two minutes late. Hang on, I'm gonna be five minutes late, sorry. Roguelites, am I right? Hey NL, do you know where Nah I'd Win is from or are you just regurgitating Twitter mindlessly? Uh, the latter. You mock anime watchers and yet you use their memes. I don't mock all anime watchers. Some animes are good. If you watch those, you're cool with me. What's an example of a good one? Gurren Lagann. Uh, Love Hina. My Dinner with Andre. Boomer Picks. What, you don't respect Wallace Shawn anymore? By the way, feel free to illuminate for me. What is yeah I'd win from, or nah I'd win from? It's from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The anime with the best music taste. You see that dodging, bro? <laughs> it's from Juju Kaisen. Oh, the, the the one Netflix just made? Mm hmm And I was like, oh, I should make a couple little little pickies with the playoffs. Yeah, oh, no. but you want to go underdog, go Packers over Cowboys. That's a good one. Yeah, no yeah. shot, bro. It's not going to happen. Cowboys are literally <laughs> the worst playoff team. They always lose in the playoffs. It's no, totally that, that, means the narrative is, that means the narrative is over-bought right now. Cowboys are oversold. 
the Cowboys are going to be on a game-winning drive. Mike McCarthy is going to yet again forget how timeouts work, and he's going to fumble the bag, and Dak Prescott's not going to be able to do it. Here's what you do. $100,000 on Cowboys <laughs> to win. <laughs> when, they're up, when they're up 7-0 at the end of the first quarter, you take the guaranteed payout on, uh, on DraftKings. <laughs> like I'm watching football already. If the, the Packers are up 7-0 in the first quarter, do you own a gun? <laughs> what the fuck? Because <laughs> there's oh, really only to. one way it can go. <laughs> we place big bets here, okay? Nuts on the t- what on earth is this? I'm trying to play a gun loading sound when yeah, someone sent a raid. Okay. Okay. Did you hear the gun loading at least? Everything. We heard everything. <laughs> I I did it right. I I just hit play on a YouTube video <laughs> of Kevin Hart in a DraftKings ad, and I thought I was playing that through Discord somehow, and it freaked me out. <laughs> like the second I hit play, that sound I was like, "Oh no, was it me?" <laughs> oh man, that was good. <laughs> You know, yesterday I was reading my daughter this book about space. She asked me what animals live on Mars. Have you ever had to explain that to a child? That you live oh, in a, a cold, <laughs> lifeless universe to the best of our knowledge? Oh, no, uh, you and I, like worms or I, I said, oh, there's no animals on Mars. And she was like, oh, what flowers do they have? And I said, no <laughs> flowers. And then she oh, said, why? And I said, it's too cold. There was a, there's a lot of stuff in there, but... I've had some kindergarten teacher moments like that where I start to, you know, get into like the the, the nitty gritty of the universe, and I'm like, this I should. This has to be like number nine, right? I'm depressed. It has to be based on Jackbox popularity at trivia or at karaoke, right? Okay, I can do this. Benifer is Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's relationship. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We've done this before. We've done oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember. I, I feel it, like but you said the same it. fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, did you see that? Uh, did you see that Lemmy clip of him playing Stardew Valley? No. Oh, it's when was fun. this? I think this it's would him. be like right there. Okay. I think for people familiar with that, you could do the same thing with this quick sword <laughs> with Ryan. I think it would work. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Oh no, you're t- oh, he's telling me. It's a good house, very uh, rustic, shall we say? I bet you money. Uh, and money if I've watched back when I first played this. Remember, I've played this for about half an hour before, about uh, when I, whenever the fuck that was, two years ago or something. I bet I come up with the exact same part every fucking time. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic, shall we say. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Benifer is Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's relationship. Yeah, yeah. No, Benifer is Jen, uh, Jennifer Lopez oh and Ben Affleck's relationship. Um, That's very recent. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this part of the... Yeah, what? they did that. They they did it? They lit it on fire? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. I don't understand. There's no trash. Yeah. So I, guess it is history. I guess it is history of the world and Benifer. This is very, like, debatable on when this actually happened. Yeah, or if it All actually the time. happens. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it happens. It's just when. Because it doesn't warm one degree at a time. Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? It's 2008. That's going to be after the degree and before the fire? You think after the degree? I, I feel like it's degree. before the degree. I, I actually trust Apollo on this and not just because it looks better. Okay. The sweat, the sweat of all the bankers made the I don't claim to get know. one degree warmer. Uh, Corey, sweat actually causes the temperature to get lower because as it uh, sorry, not their sweat, their stress. Okay, okay, there we go. Their their hypertension. Well, fuck. No, oh, 2015. You guys really screwed that one up. <laughs> Wait, Vegas wedding was in 2022. <laughs> Apparently, that was the recent one. Damn, I didn't it's know this game had 2022. Ooh, it's <laughs> It's nice and flat. Yeah. Most you guys okay. Really I think really okay. screwed that one. I up. think this should be pretty easy. Well, Disney World, Disneyland. Yeah, Disney World's got to be like on top, right? I bet I Disneyland like Disney is not China number two though. Is probably Paris. Paris. Poorly traveled. 
middle, right? I put it yeah. middle, yeah. Okay. And oh, that's, the, that's the least visited kingdom. Bro, no, Hollywood Studios no, is no. the lead. You guys are crazy. Yeah. You're well, crazy. Ever the since the Star is... Wars shit, I think Hollywood Studios is back on what top. What the fuck bro. is Hollywood? You mean MGM? Confirmed. I think Animal Kingdom is like the least. It's so small. It's the biggest park, bro. It's very, very. It's big. the smallest. They got park a damn safari went. inside of the park. China it's long? The line. Ocean Kingdom in China? I don't know if this is real or not. I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna. It's put definitely it here. real. It's definitely real. Yeah, I think okay. it's real. So, uh, Animal Kingdom, I think, isn't. Yeah, this Magic is Kingdom, most. much bigger. This is the most. Yeah. I, I gotta put this. This and Epcot's probably number two. I am almost certain Animal Kingdom is the smallest one. I think you, uh, your brain has been had its polarity uh, reversed. It has a, a savanna inside of the park. I it's, like, <laughs> I, maybe it's changed in the last fifteen years. When I went, it was so small. Ooh. I think that's gonna be like right there. There were all of like five rides. You it have was lost the tree, the thing in the tree, the the river rapid ride, and that was like it. Yeah, the safari though, Florida. <laughs> Oh, Universal? Pretty visited, I'd say. It's probably more than Animal Kingdom, I'm gonna be honest. I'm you guys have got a lot of disrespect for Animal Kingdom. They got the new Avatar. I, I like bro. Animal Kingdom, I just don't... I don't think that's right. Well, yeah, that's... I, Animal I'd Kingdom, I think, is too, the honestly. third most visited Disney park. This is probably more than Animal Kingdom, man. I disagree. I, I'm is putting he... my nuts on the table. Dude, <laughs> Animal Kingdom is so popular! I feel yeah, like I'm taking yeah. crazy pills, man! I went there in the worst weather of my life, and it was mobbed. <laughs> it's like 105 degrees out. No horse in this race. You motherfucker, it was sixth. Okay, but it got more than Shanghai. Yeah, People were like, Shanghai is Disney probably Land. more than Disney World. That was not a good place to get some streaks. <sighs> That's pretty bad. Least, Least popular to most popular. Most okay, popular. number one, nuts on the table, Disney's Animal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably kind of pretty popular, man. No, you think, think so? I think that's rather popular. Yeah, that's I, a think big one. I think you guys are crazy. I think you don't want to appear to be canceled, and it's no, leading to no. an overcorrection. Istanbul's fucking huge, man. Rome, Italy, mm, way up. Like there. number one close. No, 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 no. I'm put it here. New York City, Paris. Are you yeah. insane? Are Rome, you Rome, insane? Ah, uh, Cancun. Mm. That's pretty popular, fuck it. But this is also TripAdvisor, remember? I think it's more popular than Rome, and I, it's, I, being, I, it's being I searched agree. by Americans. Now I think you're insane. Now I think you're insane. No, this is TripAdvisor. It's TripAdvisor. This is going to be like number one. I sort of what I was thinking. This is... In, I don't I don't vouch for this placement whatsoever. This is That's, very low. It's not real. Not how, how you spell it. Not that? real. It's not real. It's not how it's spelled. Oh, it's not how it's spelled. Home. You're right. You guys are here, lucky Ryan. that yeah, Corey and Sherry are. I'm like, damn, Ryan hates the Swedes. Uh, this let's is be honest. Real yeah, I'm gonna put this here actually. Apologies. No, I'll put it here. I'm a coward. <laughs> What's <laughs> gonna be below to that, man? It's not Cairo. We might not put more stuff. We're cool. There's Crete. I think this is perfect. I think where you have it yeah. is good. Bro, it clears, it, it clears Istanbul. Istanbul. So I'm sorry. Hard. I'm not shitting on Istanbul. It just shouldn't be that high up. Damn. Dubai? Ooh. This is pretty high, actually. Do you think so? Advisor, for you think? Trip advisor? I think it's... Bro, I think it's going to be higher than Istanbul. This shit's going to clear Istanbul. We put Istanbul too high. <laughs> uh, you might be right. Duvet uh, is not real. Good. It's not real. It's in Labrador. <laughs> Wait, but is it real? If it's a real place, then no, it's no, gonna it's be not, on the thing. It's not real. I was just messing with you. It's a blanket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, is, it, is, it is a quilt. <laughs> this oh, it's is me. very popular, I think. Mm. Shit. Uh, your rose. Definitely oh, up there. I'm gonna say. Right there. Oh, shot. This is more than Istanbul. You are so. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many pots have you smoked, bro? You ever hear somebody in conversation be like, I'm going to Istanbul this summer? Who the fuck wants to go to London? I'm sure it happens. I'm A just saying. A lot of people. Dubai was Come first. On. Cancun, number three. Paris, Paris, Fucking nine, Istanbul, nine? number eight. Okay, Paris, Paris, nine. Paris nine is crazy, but. Paris nine is crazy. How is Paris less searched than Hergada, Egypt? 
I think this shit makes no sense. I think that that is what we learned. It made no sense. What do you do if you don't feel like you have an answer for your question? I am <laughs> the fuck? I'm in a very similar boat. Oh, did it, what did it say? Way. How old were you when you had your first kiss? <laughs> what the fuck? No, oh, fuck. What the hell, man? God I'm damn. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I'm a bad man. Uh, I'm just joking. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I don't have an answer for mine either. I, yeah. What's your question? Like when type... did you last use shampoo? Hey. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's against TOS to deride someone for their physical characteristics. I still use shampoo. <laughs> you yeah, on your back? <laughs> you like two seconds? <laughs> on my head. I, don't, I, my, I gave you two oh, piles man. of shit. <laughs> Jerking, oh. jacking. Coming. Coming. Even, yeah. Yeah. No, they're, they're going to be too similar. Squirting. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yep. It always features it. <laughs> you have to fast forward through the night a little bit, though. About two thirds of the way. Jerking, jerking, sucking, sucking. Son of a bitch. There's three of the same answers, mm. man. There's no way. He wrote delicious dinner. I don't accept that. <laughs> he might, man. I, a perfect night? You, you, you think normal no dinner? Way. You think normal dinner is in a perfect night? Hmm. Let's see how it shook out. Yeah. Son of a <laughs> this is my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if it's a delicious dinner, dude. No! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> I'm gonna lose I my mind. I swear to fucking god. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> it's fucking delicious goddamn dinner, dude. I'm so fucking mad. Yes! Bro wrote, bro wrote delicious. It's a perfect night, man. Exactly! It's a perfect Annoying, night! Man. It's gotta be a good dinner. It's gotta be delicious. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it tastes good. That's good enough for it to yeah, be perfect? Why, yeah, why not? That's why with Chinese why food, I thought you'd be like, if it's my perfect night, you would be more specific. This player would do anything to get invited to a party at Blank's house. Son of a bitch. I'd like to remind you, this is not Quiplash. Please. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to see four Jeffrey Epstein uh, <laughs> answers at the same okay, time. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll write Kevin Spacey. Wait, who's Jeffrey Epstein? Dan, you shouldn't get involved in this I conversation did. before you're on television, okay? Yeah, that's true. Is that Daniel Starr of the upcoming show, Traders, on Peacock, streaming tonight? It, it is. is. Anybody know if that shit coming out on Crave, concurrent with the Peacock release? <laughs> <laughs> he left. Fuck this country, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> huh. Oh, these are great answers, and I have no fucking idea what the right one is. What is DL Guiga? It's a, a Peloton egg carton community member. <laughs> so, so you wrote that? <laughs> They're all good. I, I wrote something. Uh, Moments of truth. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God! I in my head, Corey, I was like, only Corey, Corey. could have written that. Other than I was Ryan. like, only Ryan would know this. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's, the yeah. That's a good answer. Do I get points because you got it right, or do I not get points? Yeah, oh, I think you get I, points. I think you get points. Yeah. Oh. Is it pick Doctor Disrespect? <laughs> I would go to a party at Doctor Disrespect's house. But I would, would you? I wouldn't go to the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> hmm. Oh, God. Come, delicious dinners. Um. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a perfect night. 
God. <laughs> Out here with my delicious dinner. No preference, really. What kind of food? <laughs> I mean, literally, yes. Just as well, long right, as it tastes good, that's perfect. Yeah, well, if it's delicious, who cares what it is? As long as it's delicious, right? Some it delicious food. Deli delicious stinky mud pie. Dude. I'm not. I'm not I like fucking. Would be delicious. I don't have a favorite food. Oh yeah, I'm it not like delicious in front of it. It wouldn't get it. You've never eaten a pepperoni pizza. Yeah, there. That's delicious. <laughs> that would be there. a perfect night. <laughs> Two I mean, might be not. up there. Okay, which one's true? Well, what um, the fuck? Well, I hope it's not the one that I don't want it to be. Huh? He would never write the fourth love. <laughs> 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 it's not supposed to let you write the same thing twice, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I confused thought so. how it's there twice. One must be the answer, and one must be the audience. Oh, oh! Wow! Oh, whoops! No, well, you're a I genius, mean, bro! I, I never thought it. That was like a riddle. Ah, oh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness. Wait, you wrote it too? Oh! <laughs> Son of a oh, bitch. shit! That's really love. funny. You wrote love? Yeah. What the fuck? And it didn't say that's correct. So, so love is I, the audience and you. We both got Justin's too. I, <laughs> we gave him right back. Well, maybe love was the maybe There's love was no the way fill. you wrote endless power, brother. What oh, the fuck? <laughs> endless power? It's what the, the afterlife, bro. I want to fuck around. Like your phone never loses charge. I don't think yeah, like you like, like like yeah, you don't lose power. <laughs> I want to do whatever the hell I want, That's man. That's messed up, dude. That's a. I dude. think he's going sicko it's mode. A I think we'd defects. all be vaporized if people got that. The villain no, origin no, story. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, sorry, I didn't want drinking. <laughs> Nobody wrote that either. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> what have I missed, guys? Is there any uh, jokes that I should be um, I should be informed of Come from this Jackbox? Piss. Delicious dinner. The, the, oh, delicious <laughs> dinner is the standout <laughs> so delicious far. Dinner is, yeah. Okay, I'll write delicious dinner when we have joke boat or something. Joke boat? No. I think we're doing repeats today. Yeah, no repeats. None repeats. On the wheel. I would do. I would we do should. Wheel. We should. Come on, skip the. We, we could skip the wheel. Just because Corey won twice, Whoa. now he never oh. wants to play again. Sorry, I joined late, guys. I'm sorry. It's no, it's no problem at all. He mad. Yep. We run a pretty you gonna tight take ship a... here. Uh, is my salary gonna take a cut? It's okay. You were only a little late. <laughs> oh, 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 you can take one of my holiday days. Take one of my holiday days off. I don't. I don't know where to go with this joke. For yeah, me. you were barely late. It's so funny to think that like Ryan's running this like a fucking job, uh -huh. bro, and he's all paying us like to play with him every week. <laughs> you pick a character, Ryan? Uh, you laughed really I hard. The, I picked the character. Oh, it doesn't show. Oh, well, just because someone picked mine, right as I was about to pick. I gotta be this weird blue dude now. Okay, being a little blue guy. I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> in Roblox. Yeah. Oh no, I was green, and I was green. He doesn't know the joke. Bro, you're blue. And it spelled nothing like it Close enough. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. You're not playing, when your friend tries to quote the movie, the but he hasn't heard the, room, the though, part from the movie, he's just quoting it to fit in. Mm-hmm. Me, whenever we one, do literally anything that has to do with movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Lucy, bro. The slapstick <laughs> chocolate to pop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Fit Feeling the vibes out on this one. Feeling the vibes out. I mean, and yes, it does mean I use the safety quip. You using a safety quip is like Victor Wembayama bagging groceries. Did you use a safety uh. quip with like 30 seconds left? Apollo? <laughs> oh, my answer is I'm going to be so honest. Dumb. I didn't want to admit it because, you know, I didn't want to catch heat. I don't know how quick I forgot how this what this game is. Let's you do this. Type right, funny things. Funny. Yeah. Oh, so we gotta be funny in this one? I'm done. <laughs> with... It's joke boat with no like prompt. <laughs> the, no the name Dr. Frankenstein wanted to give his monster, but decided against it. 
Hitler, Mussolini, or Momenstein? Momenstein. Momenstein. Motherfucker said Momenstein. Momenstein. I was really, really hoping the other person would write Frank and Mom, and then it would have been a fucking slam dunk uh, combo. Ah, uh, the gambit. Just old Hitler again. <laughs> Oh, Damn, God. we're oh, so bad. Oh, wow. Look at me traveling into a butthole. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible. Uh. Yeah, I think someone's about to get cooked. So, sometimes <laughs> it's just, my life. Sometimes it's just too easy, you know? Like. It's not funny because it's not English. It's funny because it's German. <laughs> <laughs> and funny because it's long and then short. Uh, he's, there, there was like a staccato element to this. Me doing my 90-minute uh, documentary on the making of the Ohio joke. You can't scare It's called blank for a reason. Don't mouth, dude. Was don't really mountain, good. dude. <laughs> so, no disrespected just, dead idiot pass. Yeah, don't mountain's good. Don't mountain's good. Mm. It's the field, bro. Mm. They're trying to ski on the field, man. It's a don't <laughs> mountain. I need to stop thinking, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'll keep that with, with a quarter of a second. I've been saying that for a long time. Yep. <laughs> and next is me when I'm trying to go to sleep. Thing someone could place on your chest before shutting your burial casket. I mean, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Here it goes. Oh, Sar Bamba is great, but delicious dinner is just too perfectly timed of a callback. Controversial statement. I, I feel like it's a weird time for the callback. I think it's perfect. Because you wrote Tsar Bomba? I wasn't expecting it. Well, why would it be the worst thing? That'd be course. a good thing. Because it's a hydrogen That's bomb. That's true. Would it, though? It's going to get all gross and... Look, it's yeah, going to destroy... I wasn't to even hit for the joke, bro! <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. No! <laughs> I don't even know what it means! It stings <laughs> twice as much. <laughs> yeah, it's fair, it's fair. Ooh. I had a feeling. Like... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <most accessories to laughs> your dog to wear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's fucked up that like both They're of these both. are probably being done. I hope no one's putting a belly button ring on a dog. It's really funny. Yeah, maybe they no, don't that's... have a belly button. <laughs> Imagine if you went to someone's house and their dog had a pierced belly button though. They don't have a belly button. <laughs> that's like something you see from like um Where are you putting it? What's that dude's name uh, who plays? Where are you putting the belly button ring? You put it in the middle of their abdomen, bro. Huh? Didn't they have? Don't they have belly buttons if they were their mammals? Oh, the bitch! Get lashed. <laughs> uh. Dogs have belly wow, buttons. Show us the final scores. <laughs> Find your dog's belly button. Look in the middle of the abdomen, just beneath the rib cage. To see a tiny vertical scar. <laughs> well, well, well. Okay, cats, dogs, humans have them, but birds don't. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that, you, that's what Google's told me. Thanks, Google. I see. Mm. Do, you, do you have your sights on anything? Uh, no, I could be persuaded for, for whatever. Um, I'm just going to throw out job, job, school, survive the internet, school. I'll survive the internet would be. I, I'd vouch for that one. Done that one in a couple weeks. Survive the internet. Survive the internet. Sure. Yes, what the which pack it is because I don't remember either. It must be four. It is. Four. I want to say four or five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, four or five sounds right. I'm surviving the internet every goddamn day, bro. For real. <laughs> that would be a great thing to have in your obituary. You'd be like survived by, you know, his loving wife and also the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless we outlive the okay. internet. Possible, actually. 
Good. One one good solar flare, man. Oh, don't say that. I like. I want to live stream, bro. Can you glare like a flare <laughs> when you fuck? <laughs> Can you like blow the, uh, up a bomb in my butt? <laughs> in the wasteland, you could just like start a stream out of like a little like theater, like a hut. <laughs> I'm going people, live. People can, <laughs> like we're really and then like, people can come in, and you could be like reacting to like what's going on in like the village. You're clanging around bell. town beforehand. Yeah. I'm going live. I'm going, going live. Live, live soon. <laughs> Can you imagine how annoying a stream would be, like, in person, though? Because people would be, like, yelling at you as you talked. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're trying to say something. People are like, well, six... Minus two! Minus six two. moon cycles ago, minus you two. actually said the opposite of this. Here, I, I etched it into a cuneiform tablet while you were talking about it. You start screaming, mods, mods! <laughs> mods, get him! Mods, kill this guy. Here. Mods, hit this guy on the head with a big rock. <laughs> yep, the dude yeah. with a gun in his briefcase... <laughs> into the fucking uh, to peanut gallery. <laughs> the surviving chat members, non-target, non-target. Oh man! <laughs> All right, we need we need a Corey and a Justin. I can only give you the code. I don't see the, oh, I I thought you oh, trusted I us see, to I not see. show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, trust I me to not show it. That's fair. Gotcha. What if what if Twitch existed in the Stone Age? Okay, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Chibs really like that one. <laughs> Chibs like who's Jerry? <laughs> this Jerry joke's good, bro. I like a Jackbox game that's incredibly easy to answer. Yeah, which was this one. What was your question? What's one plus one? <laughs> fucking <laughs> Jesus it's, Christ. It's fucking two, dude. Oh. Yeah, I beat you okay, I'm sorry. I, today. I didn't know. I wasn't familiar with your game. New breakthrough in vaccine technology gives renewed hope and fight against disease. Absolutely horrendous. Can't make anything work. Courtesy of Apollo. <laughs> Japan what? rocked by 7.6 oh, earthquake, my. thousands injured. Pikachu, I choose oh, you. My what? God. Blue, blue check ass response. <laughs> Piles of discarded cabbage patch dolls found covered in sexual lubricant. They're pretty depressing <laughs> to use sometimes, but they can work. HC Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey made $20 million for his role in the cable guy. <laughs> How much money they make? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you guys honestly turned me into that Homelander meme on that one where I was like so sure I was going to get <laughs> eviscerated and then everyone started laughing and clapping and, and cheering. <laughs> oh, wow. man. Holy, bro! Yeah, that shit swept, man. Because people really do be leading, leaving comments like that. <laughs> Apollo, you're fucked up, bro. That's the point of the game. <laughs> I hope your parents aren't trying to defame me. World's first successful eye transplant completed in Spain. Apollo says, "Okay, loser, enjoy your stupid books." <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, love grandma. Chibli says, my entire life is <laughs> fucked up. It is falling apart. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I can bring this back. Me and you, me, you Chibli and Justin are having a tough ass yeah, time right yeah. now. We got fucked on. <laughs> How dare we? Oh. No, no, we bring it back. We bring it back, dude. Okay, we can. Holy do this. We shit! This. It sucks down here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing so good. Never mind. Triple digits. <laughs> I love it up here, bro. Uh, the point of the game is to be fucked up, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I'm cooked too. You got ten seconds. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
mean pie? Did they say pie yet? They said pie, dude. It's a little boring, but at least there's a lot of episodes. My review of the oh, wow. Auschwitz Museum. Fuck. What the fuck? Who would bad. fucking write, write that shit? <laughs> I have Someone to travel knows. such a short distance, it's almost comical. That's Apollo at the toilet? Uh -huh. Only good in two places, my mouth and my stomach. Sea World. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Chibli? Comfortable, big, and firm. Justin checking in at the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. Lovely bubbly drink really puts a pep in your step. Corey reviewing the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get. We need to get one of these off the screen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, man. Mine was toilet. Just before <laughs> any fingers get pointed. <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably the guy who said the point of this game is to be fucked up, mm, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ryan wrote the comment, man. It's messed up. Buddy. What do you mean? I wrote, they asked me how I felt about comedians and cars getting coffee. <laughs> they, they told me to review Coke. <laughs> I knew it. You're not a vegan because you got egg all over your face. What, what? the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, I can't even see. You just, just come on my face. The it's the grand oh, prize. No. Oh, man. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Oh, is that it then? No, I gotta get out of here because because we had oh. uh, one. Centimeter yes, of snow, then. everything in my city is canceled, including daycare, so I gotta take over. Uh, they closed daycare? Well, okay, so I went to pick up my kid from daycare yesterday, and the worker was uh, on the floor, and I said, are you okay? And she said, not really. I'm so sick, I can't even stand up. So no daycare oh, no. tomorrow. Oh, no. And I said, okay. What the have fuck? A good, have a good night. <laughs> and then you, I swear... But I, you... I, yeah. I swear to you, she said I called my doctor and they said, if you're still sick, you have an appointment for two weeks from now. And then oh they told God. me to go to the emergency room, but they're just going to make me be there for like six hours. And I was like, sister, don't I know it? <laughs> dude, you got that coming fucked. for you, dude. You were talking to her. You're going to have that soon. Contagious. Oh, well, it, it's just the price you pay when your kid's in daycare. Mm. Yeah. Like whenever I see a parent show up and pick up their kid and their kid is like coughing and has a runny nose, I'm like, fuck you, bro. You <laughs> fucking dickhead. But then when I drop off my kid with a runny nose, I'm like, there's nothing we could do. We had to work, bro. <laughs> uh, so true. We've all Dang. been there. Yep. Anyway. Have a good weekend. Good game. Have a good weekend. Yeah. This weekend. Bye. 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 All right, let me see if Kate is ready to start her stream. Then two, wait, this weekend, it's gonna be cold, but no snow, that's fine. And then starting on Tuesday, we're back to above zero. I can live with that. Minus 38 in Calgary right now. What a coincidence, minus 38 is also the Calgary Flames goal differential. <laughs> And Jonathan Huberdo's wins above replacement ever since the trade. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, how much Jacob Markstrom's uh, overall rating in the NHL franchise games has gone down ever since he signed with the Calgary Flames. <laughs> oh... And, uh, uh, and what Johnny Goudreau's mood was all of those years that he played for the Calgary Flames. Oh, man. What about Chris Tanev? I still like him. Oh, man. What the hell, man? I don't know. It's just uh, I got a lot of Calgary Flames jokes. Move on to Edmonton? No, Edmonton's good now. It's about time. I was worried they were going to get their 19th first overall draft pick this season. Bo Horvat is going off on the aisles too. 
mm, going off, like um, scoring lots of goals, or going off the way you would like uh, open a jar of peaches and it wouldn't make the sound, and then you'd go, and you'd go, I think these peaches have gone off. All right, I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Stay warm, or if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, stay cool. See you then. Goodbye. Are you going to play Gotham Knights? Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, whoop. Tell me more, tell me more. Are you in Arkham yet? Tell me more, tell me more. Is the Riddler a threat? Uh huh, uh huh, uh -huh. And oh, those Gotham. Nah.